Okay guys, we are doing our second Q&A video. If you want to see the last Q&A that I did, I will link it down below. Also, since I said I was going to mention this in every video, like I'm doing Vlogmas in December, um, and if someone wants to make me an intro for Vlogmas, that would be dope, and I would totally, like, shout you out in the description of everything. So, let me know. S send me a message to my business email. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go to Snapchat. This is where I am getting the questions for today. I'm going to turn up the volume, and let's just start. So Kira's question is, what's your favorite thing about YouTube? And I get this question a lot, and I think because I get it so much, I've actually been able to really think about it, because I know my answer before has been like, you know, the communication, which is amazing, or, you know, free stuff is cool, which is true. Um, but I think my favorite, favorite thing is how it's allowed me to live my life. It's allowed me to live my life in a way that makes me really happy. Like, there's no part of my life that causes me stress because I love what I do. I love that I get to make videos for you guys. I love that I get to have a voice that reaches you guys. I'm not sitting here stressed out every day because I gotta get to work and I gotta do this and my boss is a jerk. Ugh. Like, I get to do this and I also get to make time to study for school and get my degree and it's just what YouTube allows me to do, how it allows me to live my life, is such an honor, and I, that's one of my absolute favorite parts about it. But Miriam says, I just recently started a YouTube channel. How do I get it out there? How do you get people to view and subscribe? Um, collab with people who are around your size. That helps so much. And also, just make videos that you're passionate about, and try to give decent quality, you know? Have okay lighting, have an okay camera, um, and edit edit just basic stuff in iMovie or Movie Maker. Um, just, like, as far as quality goes, it's super basic stuff. As far as content goes, make it something that you're passionate about, something that you actually care about. And I would also, just one quick tip, practice a couple of videos that you aren't going to post. Like, do a complete practice video of a haul, and then edit that video so you can see, like, oh my god, I said like 15,000 times, or I pause after everything. So you can just kind of get more comfortable in front of the camera. <laughs> this question comes from Steph. Q&A, how cool is Steph? Like, she's pretty fucking dope, if we're being honest. <laughs> Bald Tenon says, I've been struggling with mental issues lately and have been seriously stressing about my exams next month. I've been trying to study, but I'm finding it hard to focus and I don't know what to do. So essentially, how do you focus? Um, okay, so there's a couple different things. You can do the whole reward yourself thing. Um, so find something that you really want to do, and after you finish studying for a set amount of time, just reward yourself with like a TV show or something. Another way to just stay motivated is realize like what's the alternative? You don't do it, you don't study, you're not prepared for your exams and then you're stressed more about that? No. A lot of the times anxiety dissipates when you're actually tackling what makes you anxious. So if you're stressed about exams, when you're actually studying and you're learning these things, your anxiety about being unprepared can lessen. Hey Ashley, I love your videos and my question is, what's your opinion on Justin Trudeau? Lots of love from London. I fucking love Justin Trudeau. Have you seen those bromance things between Obama and Justin Trudeau? Can we just talk about how sad I am that he's gonna have to deal with Donald fuck off Trump? What's the best thing about doing YouTube? Oh my god! You're British and a little tiny deer! <laughs> that was the best. Um, but still, still just the way it makes my life go. Makes the parts of my life possible. Like, I'm sitting here and it is 2.05 on a Tuesday, and this is my job! I'm working right now! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> We've got an anonymous one. I'm 20 and my boyfriend and I have been together for almost a year, but when we have sex, I try... Oh, I try not to give him head because he smells down there. How do I tell him, or should I? I would say maybe shower together, you know, and then you could give him a blowjob, and then you could get maybe a little bit more into it, than you, you know, previously were, like, in the shower, initiate it. Maybe that could give him, like, a, oh, shower blowjobs, shower, clean, clean it. But maybe also it couldn't, because sometimes people are oblivious and stupid. But I would, again, start with subtlety, but that's just my personal thing. I would, you know, get him into the shower, soap him up, and, like, you know, give him kind of a hand job. Oops, I'm getting a text message, sorry. Oh, and another, sorry. <laughs> But soap him up, get him all clean, and then after he's rinsed off, like, initiate going down on him and seem really excited about it and into it, and hopefully he can take the hint after that point. Like, immediately after you're done rinsing him off, just, like, go down there to town. 
I really don't see how much clearer you can get without being like, your dick stinks, so do better. Zayna says, I've been with my boyfriend, oh my god, I'm sorry you guys, <laughs> fucking text messages. Steph, you're ruining this! <laughs> So I've been together with my boyfriend for seven months and we recently started sleeping together But I feel like he's only engaged in conversation when it's about sex and things he'd like for us to do in bed How can I get him to open up about other things? He wasn't like this before um, I would just say that you know I feel like all we talk about now is sex and I love our sex life But you know I want to hear about your day and I want to hear about other things so you know maybe go out for dinner and just talk just start talking be at a place or have even you don't have to go anywhere have those like no technology hours where it's like all we're gonna do is talk you know we can build a fire or we can do a puzzle or play a board game and just chat the two of us you know because with all those distractions like texting and you know movies and whatever like it's entertaining but it can really hinder the kinds of conversations that you're having so just maybe input that into your relationship like once a week we're having a no technology hour when we hang out together we're gonna do a puzzle or a board game and we're just going to chat or we could paint or we could do like weird like play-doh making sculpture competitions like excuse me, there's so many things that you could do and I feel like once you're doing something and you're kind of distracted like with your hands making something or drawing something or coloring something in, conversation just flows really naturally and you can also, because you're doing something, bring up these issues like, hey, you know, I feel like we used to talk a lot more before we started having sex and I, I want us to do that again because I love talking to you and I love what you add to conversations so can we do that and then of course he's gonna be like yeah of course whatever baby and <laughs> there you go problem solved um best prank oh my god okay <laughs> so yeah she just said that this is the best prank and it truly was I uh, I ordered her some edible arrangements and I attached like a it's a boy balloon and on the card I was like congratulations on your pregnancy and then the delivery woman was like I didn't want to wake the baby so so that was a good prank. If you ever want to prank somebody, send them some edible arrangements because then they like get something nice out of it, but also be like, so sorry about your divorce, or uh, congratulations on having sex, or something. Because it's always fun to make people feel awkward when they're getting deliveries. My, my tip to you. Anyways, that is it for this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, you know, let me know if you have an intro that you want to make me for Vlogmas because that would be cool. That'd be dope! I know, I really, I honestly, I started out as somebody who just says that ironically because I think it's so stupid, but now I say it all the time and I hate myself for it and I appreciate that you guys hate me for it. Like, it's just a big circle of hate around me, so it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna fucking go. <laughs> and I'll see you later. <laughs>